Hey guys, George Dude here, and welcome to an episode of Learn to Fingerboard. In today's episode, we're going to teach you how to do a kickflip on a fingerboard. Alright, so the kickflip is the first flip trick you'll probably want to learn how to do. It's probably the most, I wouldn't say the easiest, but it's definitely the most basic uh, flip trick you should know. And it'll help you with all the other trick, other flip tricks you want to do. Um, so yeah, the kickflip is pretty much the motion where your board flips once um, towards your palm of your hand. And it does one full flip and then you just land. Before you learn how to kickflip, you probably want to already know how to do a so nice and solid ollie. Once you get your ollies nice and solid and consistent and at a pretty good height, you should be pretty set to do how to do a kickflip. Alright, so let's get into the finger positioning. I like to have my in the, my middle finger on the tail, nice and solid in the middle, just like how you would do for an ollie. And for your index finger, I usually like to have it pretty much like an ollie too, just right in between the middle of the board and behind the front truck. So just like about here. So overall your finger positioning should be around this. Um, you don't have to do it like a kick flip on a skateboard where your uh, front finger is hanging off a bit. You could just do it just like a normal ollie and because the how to do a kick flip is pretty much all in your wrist flick. So yeah, let's get into that. Alright, so the motion of the kick flip is pretty um, explanatory I would think, just like the ollie. What you want to do is roll up just roll up regular because you're doing a regular kickflip um, just set yourself up like a normal ollie and then you're going to pop the tail the board's going to go up automatically you're going to slide your hand and fingers up gripping the board just like uh, ollie and once you're up in the air um, you're going to want to when once you're bringing your board up with your fingers that's when you want to kind of twist your wrist kind of like how you would um, open a doorknob uh, just give that a little twist or like bring your hand slightly towards you and that little flicking motion will get the board to flip and once the board flips you just have to watch watch it and wait till it makes a full rotation and then you just put your hands back on and you just land so yeah it's pretty much just like a normal skateboard Kick flip, uh, you're just going to pop the tail, slide your fingers up, and once you're sliding up and you're in the air, that's when you want to flick out. You don't have to, like, do it. It's not like a finger motion. It's kind of like, it's all in your wrist and hand where you do the flick, and that will get the board to flip, and then you just land. So you can't really, I can't really get much more into detail on how to do this trick. Some good way to practice it is just making sure, just practicing maybe like the flicking motion in your hand and then pretty much it's all practice you just want once you find once you're able to do it once I'm pretty sure you'll be able to do it every time because it's all in your muscle memory once you once you practice it enough and um, you get the flick of your wrist all coordinated and you could catch your board then um, your print your hands will pretty much know how to do it and yeah I just can't stress out enough on making sure you have a really solid ollie. You can't have like an ollie where you just go like that because you won't get enough air time for the board to actually do the flip. You want to make sure you have a nice solid ollie so that when you slide your finger up and you flick out that the board actually evens out and does the full flip and you can land and it'll, it'll look really nice. So yeah, that's pretty much it on how to do the kickflip on a fingerboard. If you have any questions, just post a comment in the description, in the comment boxes below. And I will probably most definitely get back to you on that. 
So yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode of How to Learn to Fingerboard. And yeah, see you guys next time. Later.